ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the stream hope everybody's having a good night today as you no doubt see we have a special stream lined up for you guys uh, our good friends over at Elgato sent us over a cool toy to play with we have here the Elgato stream deck um, so we're going to do a quick tutorial on how easy it is to set up if you do manage to get your hands on one of these uh, I'll tell you right now I was extremely surprised at how easy this was to set up I was expecting uh, for it to be a bit of a mission and for me to do more work than I would have to do but it was astoundingly easy um, so real quick we'll just quickly go over uh, what you get inside of the box um, Again, it's super easy. Actually, I'll move the, the webcam over here so you guys can have a look. So, this is the bad boy here down in action. You, you literally just get the stream deck that you can see here, uh, and a little stand to put it on. And that's pretty much it, as well as the uh, uh, instruction manual. So, again, real easy. And once you've plugged it in, and you've read the instructions Ooh, let me just set back up there uh, you've read the instructions, the most important instruction being downloading the uh, Elgato software it's ridiculously easy once here we go, I've got the program all set up here once you've um, opened up the program uh, it's going to ask you to log into your account, you can see here we've got the uh, Attack on Geek accounts here, the Streamlabs account, and then we could add uh, other accounts if we wanted to, but right now we've got our main ones, and then that's literally it, that's all the hard work you have to do, everything else has been set up for you. Um, so yeah, let's let's quickly show you how ridiculously easy this is. Um, so what I will do is I'm going to create a new profile. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. I'm pretty sure I go in here, profiles, create new profile, and let's just call this tutorial profile. There we go. Uh, we can ignore all of this. We won't make it the default one, but bam, that's what we want. I think I should switch this over. No, here we go. We have to switch here. Right, here we go. So, when you open up the program for the first time, this is what you're presented with um, a little blank screen here, and all these options on the side here for all the different programs that are uh, compatible with the Stream Deck right out of the box. And if you click this button in the center here, or better yet, hold on again, I'll quickly show you guys because this is really cool. You can see that the Stream Deck, if it will focus on it, also has that exact same button layout there. You can see the welcome button in the middle there. If you push that button, or if you click the button up here on the desktop, uh, it will take you to a really nice tutorial video that will walk you through the basics. Uh, but I'm also going to walk you through the basics as well, just to show you how easy it is to use. Um, so yeah, it's literally a case of looking down the side here, finding a macro or a piece of, um, I guess, a, a piece of program that you want to use. So let's do, uh, first of all, OBS. Uh, so anyone who's using OBS Studios, you have a bunch of uh, inbuilt features all ready uh, to go. And it's literally as simple as grabbing the one you want. I've got it clicked here dragging it into a button space, letting go, and there we go, that's added. So what I'll do just to, to show you guys, so remember the Stream Deck before only had the welcome button in the middle, but let's see if I fill this whole top row of them, and then we'll do this bottom row as well. And now if I show you, probably actually just lift up the Stream Deck itself and show you guys now the Stream Deck reflects this and if I remove one of these so we'll get rid of this guy delete there you go you can see it's removed off the stream deck we can get rid of this welcome video bam that, again that's just how easy it is to start customizing the stream deck 
so again we'll quickly jump into how easy this uh, scene swapper is to use. So if I click into this uh, icon here you can see right down at the bottom here I've got again super easy the title of what I want to call this button so we can call this button um, home whoops home screen or yeah we'll call it home screen uh, and on this little drop down here we can choose to center, uh, have the text at the bottom the center or the top of the button we can change the uh, the font there we go and get it in the middle there we can even change the color and again if I bring up the stream deck you guys can see that whoops that these changes are reflected immediately on the stream deck you can't I don't think you can see the words there but you can see there is red text over that button there and then it's just a case of selecting so we've got that all sorted out, we can even underline it um, so this collection here is the collection of OBS scenes that you might have set up if you don't it will just be default or normal, I just call mine scene collection standard uh, and then it's just a case of selecting which uh, scene we want so if I set up my intermission scene here on this one uh, I'll rename that BRB screen and then we can call this one uh, main gaming screen so that's the screen that you guys can currently see me on at the moment we'll call this main screen and again I like the text to be impact and in the middle it just all fits nicely so this is the, the screen that we're on now uh, and here I'll, I'll actually show you guys it in real time so if I get the stream deck back over here so right now you can see the highlighted button on the second one there is uh, lighter than all the others that's to show that that scene is the one that's activated and if I just click this new button get ready there we go and now let's change the scene to my intermission scene and if I click back to the uh, main game scene here we go three two one there we go and it, it's literally as easy as that I didn't have to do any other setup I didn't have to uh, link the two programs together literally all I had to do was install the stream deck program open up OBS and that was it really really easy to use um, now obviously some of you might be thinking oh Tom there's only let's see one two three four five there's only 15 buttons on the screen uh, and I got a lot of features that I want to do how how am I gonna get all my buttons on here well there's a cool fancy feature called move to folder so if I click this here and move the BRB screen so you can see now it's opened up another panel I've got still got my 15 buttons one of them is a back button here but now I have the BRB screen so if I click back to my stream deck so here we go we've got a folder icon and I've got some scenes so let's drag some of these scenes into this uh, I'm pretty sure I can just move it into the folder right or do I have to open up the move to folder oh, I think I have to yeah drop them all individually all right where's my BRB screen that's the main screen tell you what let's get rid of this folder open up this one and again it's, it re is really easy to use so I'll just do it again drag the scene in main screen main gets rid of some of these now as well and you can see this all frees up a bunch of space on the uh, on the main screen of the screen deck uh, stream deck sorry Ooh. all right so now if we have a look at the stream deck I'll bring it up for you guys to have a look at <coughs> so now we've got the single folder button which matches what we have on the program if I press that there we go it opens up the folder and gives me my two streams and once again all I've got to do is press the button and it will flip me between the two scenes and flip back uh, whoops with this one 
Uh, if I do want to get out of this folder again I don't have to click anything on the computer I just press the button on the Stream Deck and it will take me back to the main menu of the Stream Deck. Again I can't stress how easy this is to use. Um, let's show you some other cool things that we had set up earlier on as well. So you can do simple things like play some audio. So let's see I've got this all set up and ready to go. I'm going to turn it down a tad. Some of you guys might uh, <laughs> recognize this one. So again, got a new button on my stream deck that's popped up. I'm going to press it. Three, two, one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a little bit loud, but you can you can change the volume uh, and all that on the volume bar down here. Uh, We've also got some other really cool nifty buttons. I like the, where is it? The mixer audio button. So on my current headset, the only way to uh, mute the microphone is to lift the boom mic up. But now if I go down here, and again, this is all on the OBS tab. So we've got the collection, the standard collection the source. And if I just look for mic, I now have a button on my OBS thing that will mute my mic. So here, if we look over here, we've got the icons here. So this is when the uh, button is active, and that's what it looks like when it's deactive. So again, I can press a button, you'll watch it change, and then um, you'll see I won't be able to speak, so I'm just going to press the mute button. And now we're back. Again, super easy, didn't have to touch anything on OBS, I literally just pulled the button across and it works just like that. Um, now some of the other things you guys have no doubt seen as well, so again I'll quickly go through some of the other things. So we've got Streamlabs, we've got OBS, we've got little tools that we can do on um, the Stream Deck itself. There's Mixer integration, so really important one for Diana and I is the uh, create clip one which is again really easy to use we just press the button and it will record record uh, the last 30 seconds for us it does look as well like we can uh, change the timers so that would be cool we'll definitely be using that uh, what else uh, so if you're using the Elgato capture card it has um, integrated functionality with the Elgato game capture program Again, super easy to use. All you got to do is drag the icon across. So let's flash back recording, uh, and then all you need to do is just make sure we launch the program, game capture launch, and it will work nice and easy. Uh, what else do we have? So we've gone through those. So Streamlabs. I think we have the spin wheel functionality set up. Uh, let's have a look. So Attack on Geek. Yep, I think I've already got this all set up. So if I bring up the wheel, I can now just press the wheel button. One, two, three. And there we go, somebody wins a high five. <laughs> but all, again, didn't have to do anything on Streamlabs. It was just all linked up straight away. All I had to do is well, log into my account and that was it. Uh, if you guys are using Streamlabs OBS, there's some cool tools uh, you can use there exactly the same uh, in the OBS ones. Uh, you've got some basic uh, system things. So if you want to press a button to load up a uh, website, you can do that. So again, you just drag across the um, drag across the button like that. If you want to give it a title, you can, uh, or you can, um, uh, or you can type in the URL at the bottom there. And it will all load up for you. Press the button and it will load up the website. Easy as that. Uh, what other features can we show you? Uh, it's got Twitch integration, Twitter integration, XSplit, YouTube, um, some more just control center stuff that you can sort out. Uh, an interesting third party app called Voice Mod. So if you want an on the fly way to change your voices, uh, add in sound effects and things like that. You can do that using the third party program voice mod. Uh, speaking of, uh, there are a bunch of uh, third party applications you can see down here that I've already downloaded. 
if we click more actions there we go so these are all of the really cool uh, apps that you can download and use on the stream deck I've downloaded a lot of these already but let's look at uh, okay so I haven't downloaded the clock yet so <laughs> again I'll show you how easy it is to add this new new app to your stream deck so all we do is click install give it a second and it's installed and it should be at the bottom of our list now uh, let's see, ah here we go, so custom analog clock and again I'm going to bring it across, we'll pop it in the middle here and it's giving me a clock and if we look at my stream, oh I'll move it off the middle one because the middle button has a um, little bump on it like the F and J keys uh, so it does make the picture look a little bit weird but if I bring over the stream deck now there we go, you can see we've got the clock easy as that. Ooh. Alrighty, um, what else? The other really cool thing is the customization of the Stream Deck as well. So if we look at this icon here, uh, the icon isn't that cool. Maybe I want to add my own logo or uh, better yet add uh, an Attack on Geek logo. So all we got to do is click the uh, little drop down here we can either set from file or create new icon so if we go set from file here we go I've got some of these set up here if I open up this one there we go and again all of this is reflected immediately on the stream deck uh, let's see you guys should be able to see the little firecracker just about there we go you can see it see it now the green firecracker um, and you can even oh, let's do this as well oh, I'll see if I can do it at the same time so again you'll see how easy this is so if I go to the drop down set from file I think we had this one I can't remember if it's this one there we go now we got the mixer logo instead really really easy to use also, if you're so creatively inclined, there is a really awesome uh, icon creation tool that uh, Elgato have provided. All you got to do is click on the little drop down, click on create new icon, and it will load up a this website right here. You can see I've already been uh, working on some. So you've got it's basically if you've ever used any uh, design tools before super easy to use so you can see you've got a logo that I can move about I got some layers uh, let's quickly clear all of this so let's say we wanted to make a um, a new sound effect thing so let's have a look so we've got a bunch of different preset icons that we can use down here um, first of all we can give it a new background color so let's make that I don't know a nice red uh, and then we can pull on here we go a celebration thing we can maybe resize this just have it up here and then we can add in who knows another one <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not very creative, but this is how easy it is to use. Literally, just drag and drop. Um, what else? We can put in. Here we go. We'll put in the metal. Make that a little bit smaller. Put that there. And there's so many different layers and things that you can add here and do your own creative designs so now we've got our little celebration logo and we've got to do a save key and you can see up here that it just started a download so if we go back to my Elgato uh, click on the little drop down once again set from file here it is the new stream deck key let's open this up and BAM and once again I'll just show you for clarity's sake you can just see I've got my new logo if the light doesn't reflect off it too much 
maybe oh there we go just about you can see it there so again there is so much you can do with this um, with this awesome piece of tech I've only shown an extremely small amount of what you can do but we will definitely be using this on the attack on geek stream it was going to make our lives a lot easier especially when I'm streaming um, off of my switch um, I only have one monitor to stream off of as opposed to two uh, it just means that we can basically use the stream deck as our second monitor so we can change our scenes uh, control things again so many uh, great features that you can use here um, that's literally all there is to it um, there's not a lot else to explain uh, there are some great features and tutorials online if anyone does get stuck and of course you can reach out to us on the stream or on Twitter if you so inclined uh, or so want to do um, but yeah once again big big thank you to Elgato for providing the stream deck for us I really can't wait to use it it's been again I can't stress enough how easy it was to use um, literally just plug it in and away I go um, yeah so be sure to uh, jump onto the streams in the future and you'll see the stream deck be in use and again thank you very much Elgato I hope you all have a good one uh, and I will see you guys next time catch you later